Welcome, welcome, my beautiful Aries. Brenda here, Brenda Terrell, and this is your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of January the 24th to the 30th. Starting off right off the bat in your first row, you've been caught, you've been given catch your breath. So you might have been working very, very hard. You may be going through some challenging situations right now, really taxing yourself and pushing yourself uh, to achieve something. Uh, you know, you might be going through a stressful time right now where you just need to hang on and ground yourself. I think there's a need for balance right now with this row here. I think, you know, you could have been losing some sleep here, worrying about a situation uh, that's been keeping you up, that's been giving you insomnia, uh, that's, you know, allowing your mind to be, you know, going round and round and round, that's stressing you out. And the universe steps forward here to give you a message, Aries, that you need to slow down, step back and catch your breath. Do what you need to do to recharge, recoup, and regenerate your energy again. It's very imperative right now that you maintain stability and balance so that you're able to go forward in a healthy, progressive way. But coming in with that, you've been given the beautiful card of the, the beautiful card of, at, at clarifying this. Uh, you have the chariot. And the chariot, I always say, is a champion. And this is being able to have the ability to know that you can go into the ring and come out a winner. So stop worrying. I think if you pace yourself and you think about your moves, my beautiful Aries, you're going to be able to, to do something uh, this week that you're going to feel you've accomplished something. But don't allow yourself to overdo or uh, get caught up in the heat of the moment where you may react and then regret to something. And then later on, you're, you're, you're awake thinking about it. You know, there's going to be risks and there's going to be consequences with this card, with the chariot. He doesn't go into the arena with, with uh, the mindset he's going to lose. He knows all about those uh, those situations. And he goes in there with the mindset of being positive that he's going to come out a winner. I think you might be getting public recognition for something that you're going to be doing. Uh, maybe, you know, other people in the public are going to be aware of your actions and, and where you're going at this time. But at the end of the day, it's going to be a huge pat on the back it's going to be a great achievement so this is a great way to start off coming in with your your next row you have uh the card of the fox so again i want you to think on your feet i want you to be careful um there could be somebody around you as well i always read this read the uh the fox card as somebody who could be skulking around you uh they might be watching you ghosting you uh be careful because you know the 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 fox is very creative but he's also crafty he you know he lays in his lair during the light of day so he, nobody sees his shadow and then he goes in after dark he knows exactly where that hole in the barn is to get the chickens or the eggs so be careful there could be somebody around who's sneaking around but also i want you to be thinking on your feet because the fox is very crafty he has the ability to uh to be our to be um, adaptable he adapts himself to the situation and he and before he goes in so i want you to think on your feet this week be aware of where you're going and what you're doing you've got the seven of cups which means there could be some confusion as you move through this week where there may be dis decisions and choices and a lot of them that you have to make um you know i used to call this the eeny meeny miny mo card but really this is a serious card that says you need to think about what's going to benefit you to your greater good and long term so if there's often Offers and opportunities presenting themselves or things of written material that you need to sign that are legal make sure that you get representation and you are sure of what you're signing your name to so you're able to make the right choice is it going to be long term okay is it going to benefit me to my greater good you definitely are moving on though because here you have uh, here you have the you have the eight of cups and this is again a card of balance uh knowing that there's a better direction for you to be going you're leaving something behind you walked away from something and you realize you're going in a new direction um you're not turning back you're not there again yet because look at the cups here they're not equally divided up there's eight here they should be you know you would think they would be equally divided up here but they're not you'd think they'd be four and four they're five they're five and three so this is a card of balance and don't get up in your head about illusions because the moon is riding over top of you here know that you have you deserve to go in a new direction so don't allow your illusions to, to, to hold you back getting up in your head allowing that to happen this week Coming in with your next card, and of course I had to use the Moonology with the Wolf Moon and the Full Moon in January here on the 17th. Um, at the end of a tough cycle approaches. The Full Moon in Capricorn, this particular card is, but the meaning of this is there's going to be the end of a tough cycle. 
It's coming towards you, which is great. And look what you have coming in here with this. This is a double message here. You've got the chariot again, which means you're going in a new direction. A much better one. You know, where you know you've had to you've had to work very hard, you struggled, but you went into something, you fight you fight a hard battle and you come out the winner. Again, this is all about the end of a tough cycle is coming into you. So you're going to be able to go forward. And I, the reason I see this as well is you've got the ace of rods, and the ace of rods is going forward, taking action, moving towards your goals. And it's always a good card of prosperity and going in the right direction. I mean, this is proof right here in the pudding, my beautiful, <clears throat> my, excuse me, my beautiful Aries. You know, you're going to see the end of some tough situation that's going to be coming into you that, you know, you've had to deal with that probably brought you lack of sleep here and concerned you that, you know, you've had to, you know, think on your feet and, and you're catching your breath now after this. But I do think you're going to see opportunities coming in, new exciting opportunities, and they could have to do with your career, some of you. Um, I think you need to go for it. This is a card of taking action. Whenever these show up they're all about moving forward and taking action some of you may be thinking of setting up and starting your own business which you know when I look at the chariot it is indicative of it's going to be a success and you're going to get recognition for it um, others you could be uh, receiving an offer for a new job a different kind of job or maybe a posting at your place of employment now where you have the ability to work your way up the ladder of success some of you could be getting that in the form of a promotion as well but always with the ace of rods it's the beginnings of something and this particular one is the beginning of a beautiful new fresh start coming in with your next row you have the wedge someone is trying to compare come between you and a friend or something you want uh, there could be opposing energy around you this week where there's a third party stirring the cauldron uh, wanting to uh, ruffle your feathers and wanting to create some some disharmony okay uh, wanting to sway your mind uh, trying to make you believe something about somebody that they they want to make you believe um, I think that you're going to be stepping up though. I don't think that you're going to take this to heed. But for those of you, keep your eyes open. Somebody could be coming in and trying to, uh, you know, sway your mind about something. They're, they're all, they have arterial alternative motives. And I don't see them as having good integrity here. So don't allow this to happen to you. Don't allow someone to create a wedge between you and someone that you care about very much. Coming in next, you have the Fool, and the Fool is all about the universe saying, prepare yourself to take a leap of faith. Go for what it is you want. Make your dreams come true. Whatever you've been planning for a very long time, Aries, don't be afraid to grab the bull by the horns, ride it out of town. Uh, definitely, as long as you're prepared, I always say, you know, don't jump off the cliff unless you check your parachute first. In other words, you're not going to be a fool by going forward and not being prepared to take this leap of faith. But here comes your wheel of fortune saying, it's time you do that. It's time you make the move. It's time you move on. It's time you go in this new direction. It's time you're not afraid to set up that new business and move forward in a positive direction because you've got the, ch you've got the chariot twice here that's telling me you're going to come out of this successful. The Wheel of Fortune is karmically turning in your direction right now. It's sending you that big, huge message that now you're able to move forward, take a breath of fresh air, <clears throat> and, you know, uh, move on to the next level. Some of you could be getting recognition in the form of, again, you could be receiving an award or something uh, that, you know, that you've worked hard for. Some of you could be moving because this is a wheel it's moving some of you could be moving to a new home or a new job uh, but definitely you're going to feel this freedom of being able to take this leap of faith and go where you want coming in on your last row you have and I've given you a romance card here this could be the one <clears throat> you already met the ro the romantic partner you seek so if you've been you know if you've just met somebody new or you've been in a relationship for a while know that you're on the right path know that this individual is is your is in your end of the ring know that this is your partner your soulmate possibly your twin flame so well, whoever it is you know trust your instincts and your intuition okay Aries you know how you feel about a person you know that innately and you've got someone in your end of the ring that's going to love you here you go two of cups confirmation with that right beautiful beautiful card that says yes there's somebody in your life yes there's somebody who cares about you yes there's somebody who's going to be there for you stand by you 
you know, fit that puzzle piece and make that connection. Uh, this is partnership. This is moving forward together with somebody on an emotional level who cares about you. <clears throat> so, you know, when this romance card shows up and says, you're, you know, this could be the one, <clears throat> and then you get the two of cups, how wonderful is that? So I do think that, you know, you're going to be able to continue, uh, you know, not worrying so much about a relationship because this is definitely a kindred spirit <clears throat> or it could be also, you know, a fond friendship that's moving on to the next level of intimacy. But it's about love and respect mutually and understanding that, that's developed between two parties. You could also be healing through something. If there has been an issue, I think you're going to resolve it here now. And you're going to be healing through something because uh, of an apology. Forgiveness is going to be extended. If you've had any difficulties with other people on an emotional level, it's going to come out in your favor. It's going to work out. There's going to be a resolution. Okay, It'll, It will work its way out. And I think, again, it's because of forgiveness. Clarifying that, you have the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, the Pentacles are wonderful, but the Ten tells me that you you need to think about how wonderful life it really is and I do believe that you know this is about abundance financial security and also you know lasting foundation right this has integrity here you're going to this is this is beautiful but it's also uh, the lasting of a relationship here okay long term long standing here beautiful beautiful the family's strong and you're going to be secure financially this is about happiness it can also be about uh, an inheritance that some of you could be receiving. You could be inheriting something here that's going to bring you in this foundation of security as well. So I think, you know, <clears throat> your family life is strong and secure and peaceful, and it could even include your blood relatives or a chosen family or a community of people with whom you strongly relate to. So it's a beautiful card when this comes in. Wow, I love this reading. Well, <clears throat> recapping this, my beautiful, beautiful uh, Aries, I do think that, you know, you're going to be busy this week. I want you to stop worrying here because you, you're definitely going to see some accomplishment coming in as you move forward in a new direction here. Doors of opportunity look like they're going to be opening for you and it will be the end of a tough cycle coming into you. So you're able to go forward and take a leap of faith and go for what you want. The only two cards here I would be concerned about is someone, you know, trying to put a wedge between you and a friend or someone, something that you want. And, you know, they tend to sneak around they could be have a sneaky energy here but at the end of the day you're going to have emotional stability here you're with someone who truly cares about you and you're going to see happiness at the end of the day here both financially in the home front and also within the family circle so this is wonderful and again it's indicative of you know secure friendships partnerships uh you know harmony with the family and money well i wish you a great remainder to today my beautiful aries because this looks like a good week for you. And let's all continue to play safe, stay safe, and be safe. Know that I always send you many blessings, and I'll see you soon.